This is a certified hood classic. I used to be in my feelings, then I turned up and got a spot. I can't say how much I made in that bitch, I just know it was a lot. I don't care no more if she love me for real long as she love my knock. They say, Unk, you hitting them with too much drip. I know I got a mop. I put my flow in the microwave, I know I got to blow, now it's hot. I was way too far ahead of my time, I had to slow down and stop. Before I pull up to the honeycomb, I got to go round the block. Looking in blind spots for any nigga, think he on the low trying to plot. Go ahead. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to Hanky TV, man. You feel what I'm saying? That's my boy. He put dope content over there. Wine, the town gangster with you, aka OG Giggity. I'm hanging out with the big homie, Hanky TV. Make sure y'all subscribe, support the brother. They out here doing big things. It's all good, baby. Y'all see me free. We out here enjoying life. Wine. I want y'all to stop the bottom, say no drugs. Guns down. I'm out, baby. Gotta go. What's up with it? It's your boy JT. If I say I done it, I did it, man. And I'm I'm back. And this is what I got for y'all now. I'm coming with the official paperwork for Terrence Gangster Williams. The paperwork dropped the other night. You see when they first dropped the video. Somebody tagged me in the video. I'm just now doing a video because you know what I'm saying. I wanted to just see, see what it was gonna do. Um in the internet, I got my judge roll bone. That's how the judge be looking. And the reason I got this on is represent every day, man, we as people, we judging our peers. We judging people around us. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? I already told people my past, where I come from. You know, I had somebody wear a wire on me. I got me um, three traffickings. And then I also had somebody told on me when I did my 10 years in the joint. So I definitely don't um stand, 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 stand with snitching. But listen at this, man. All this talk the last few days, the last month or whatever that's been going on in the internet about snitching, man, is just baffling to me. And the reason it's baffling to me is because what difference do it make? Because ain't nothing happening to them. People still messing with them. So what difference do it make? It seems like to me a person ain't doing nothing. But these last few months or whatever, wasting their breath talking about oh, who doing this, who doing that. Um, snitching been going on since the beginning of the time. Judas snitched on Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So when a person jump off the porch, man, and get out here in these streets, man, you, you on your own. Because there ain't no more rules to the game. Ain't no more rules to the game and pe for people to stand on and talking about people snitching and this and that. So when you get out there and you do something, it's on you. You know what I'm saying? And then now in this day and time, 99.9% of the time, we tell it on ourselves. But is it right for somebody to tell on somebody? No. Nah. But one of the things I can say, man, I don't care who a person, I don't care who you are, what you then been through. A person ain't going to say what they ain't going to do until they in that situation. So all of these people out here mean to tell me, you out here living good, you getting money. You're doing what you want to do. You catch a case. You facing life in prison, never to get out. Now, this ain't justified. I'm just asking you. You facing life in prison, never to get out. And they tell you, if you tell on somebody did, we're going to let you go, that you ain't going to do it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the time, what's, what's killing me, man, is the, it's the, it's the, it's the kettle calling the pot black, man. It's the people pointing the fingers. And when you point a finger, it's three of them pointing back at you. Everybody talking about they standing on business, they standing on that. Um, this person snitching, that person snitching. But the question is, what you gonna do when you're in that position? You know, that's that's the main thing that's really just it just been killing me these last few this last few uh, months or weeks, whatever this talk been going on on the internet. And one of the reasons the internet got me disappointed is because this man been home a year and some months now, and um boom, the paperwork dropped. And, 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 it, and it ain't when and it didn't go viral like it did when he first got out. And people said, Oh, he told on the dead, he told on the dead. So I got the paperwork, man. I'm gonna put the paperwork up here. Um, I'm quite sure a lot of people have seen it going around. Like I said, I got a call tonight that it dropped before it dropped. I had got a call. Somebody told me, um, the paperwork was dropping tonight. I messed around and fell asleep and mess, and it came out the, and, it, and it had came out, and I seen it the next day. But anyway. 
like I said, I want to sit back for a few days, man, and um see what people had to say about it. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I don't justify, I don't justify snitching, but one thing I can say, man, a lot of people just um talking about it. What would you do when you're in that position? Let me give you a let me let me let me run down a scenario to you. A few years back, I was going back and forth with me and this one guy. We was going back and forth. He was sending me some, he sent me some messages to my phone. The messages was threatening. So me knowing me and how I am, I said, let me keep, I I better keep these messages in case I got to do something to this guy. Eventually, something did end up happening. Me and him got into an altercation. He pulled a gun on me. I ended up with the gun and shot him. He called the police on me. So if he called the police on me by me shooting him with his own gun, is that snitching if I tell the police what happened? You know what I'm saying? That's another thing, man. People got the definition of of snitching. They got it twisted up. I ain't going to put nobody's name out there, but one person, one blogger going to say, if you cooperate with the police in any form, that's snitching. Come on, man. Sometime in life, no matter what you're doing, in the streets or a square, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to have some interaction with the police. And another thing, people talking about people snitching, people snitching. So you mean to tell me if uh, somebody walk up to your mama's door, knock on her door, and shoot her in her head, that's snitching if they call the police? Come on, man. All this that's what I'm saying. It really don't make no sense, man, because people ain't standing on business no more, man. People ain't standing on it. It ain't no rules to the game. You know, so it's for it's for each day on. You know what I'm saying? To tell you the truth, I would rather know a person is a snitch than not to know a per than not to know somebody is snitch. Because if you already know, you already know what to expect and know what to do around them. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people right now. It's somebody in they clicked in the snitch. They don't even know about it. So all this talking about snitching the man and who telling it's useless because ain't nothing ain't nothing happening to him. I ain't encouraging nothing to happen to him or nothing. But I'm just saying it. What's the use? It's going gonna, it's gonna to trim for a couple of days, and then, boom, life going to go on. But let me go ahead, man. I'm going to run this, put this paperwork up for y'all, man. If you're looking at this on your phone, you might, say you might have to pause it and, and, and blow it up or just pull it up on your TV and check it out, man. But here go the paperwork. You know what I'm saying? It finally done dropped. So y'all can go ahead and check it out. But 40 bodies, though, this man cooperated in closing 40 cold cases. And like I said, man, a person can't say what they're doing today until they is in that position. And I already know a a real great majority of people, if they was in that position, they tell it. But check out the paperwork here.
make her slur from the sideline That's all she ever did This one for all the times I missed out on it every bid She just wanna link up on the play Cause of my persona Angel cake mixed with gelato Raw cone is the aroma Yeah, yeah, stendle on me And a spindle on me No time for games, baby No Nintendo on me Slurp, no burp Don't drop shit on my shirt Headlights in the rear view And shit looking skip Fuck that, don't slow down, I ain't finished yet. Half a M in the bag, well, at least it's supposed to be. Presidential elect, I made the whole vote for me. Got the neck and a hundred K, bitch, toast to me. It's 400 grand when I pull up, it's 400 grand. Oh, it's supposed to be fine, huh? but I'm keeping a hundred. She it's know I'm a hundred, cause I keep it a hundred. She know what I'm coming, so she keep it a hundred. Then I don't see vomit. Got her head in my lap. She ain't taking a grand. nap. Got her hands in my pants. She ain't digging for bands. Yeah. Slurp. She ain't digging for bands. It's 400 grand. Slurp. It's 400 grand.
There go the paperwork. Everybody was waiting, talking about waiting for the paperwork to drop. Here go the paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Um. Also, I got another video I'm going to be dropping. I'm going to do a part two. I got the paperwork for us from the wiretap. When, um, it's on here too, but I'm just going to do a part two just specifically with the paperwork Um, when he's supposed to be on the phone with Birdman. And like I was saying previously, man, everybody talking about who's snitching. Ain't nobody doing nothing about it. Ain't nobody really standing on business, man. You know what I'm saying? But here go the paperwork. This what everybody. This what everybody been waiting for. What everybody been waiting for. Take the time to read it for yourself. Because one of the questions was, oh, man, he just didn't tell him the day he got a deal. He had to tell him somebody alive. Here go the paperwork. And I bet you right now is somebody running around in your clique that, that, that they didn't told on somebody. And if they ain't, ain't told on somebody, somebody ain't known to told on somebody. The rules of the game, man, it ain't no more rules, man. Ain't nobody standing on business no more. But now it became and it became a fad. That everybody want to see the paperwork. But here go the sealed paperwork for y'all. Check it out. I also want to shout out in the mix, in the mix channel for tagging me in the paperwork and for tagging me in the part two paperwork that I'm gonna put up. I don't know who they is, but I got an idea who they are. So I'm going to shout out. I'm going to give them a shout out, man, because that's where I got it from. And there it was. That's, that's the paperwork. Like I said, stop it, pause it, blow it up, put it on your TV so you can see it and read it for yourself. We all running around. Everybody every day running around with a judge robe on, man, because we all judging somebody in some shape, form, or fashion. I want to thank y'all for tuning in, man. There, there go the paperwork. Who else? You know what I'm saying? I probably have been looking at the paperwork. All you got to do is go to pacer.com. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just seen a channel last night where they had brought the brought the pace, pacer up and brought the paperwork up. But there go the paperwork right there. Be looking out for part two. I'm going to drop the transcripts from, from the wiretap call. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. Hank and TV. Yeah, y'all, it's the world famous DJ Fuck You Sue Me. You now tuned into the Hankin' TV. Hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. We always going live. It's going down.